The NFL is on EA Sports, and we're at Raymond James Stadium in Tampa, Florida. Today, we've got a good NFC matchup on tap between the San Francisco 49ers and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. The veteran kicker, Robbie Gold, set to get us started. And off we go from Tampa. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. First play, first pass for Brady. He'll get that out to the flat to White. And he gets this one just shy of the 40, down at the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. To throw is Brady. Left side here, that's complete to Godwin. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down, second and right at a yard. And I think this is a route we'll see more of as this game goes on because with his speed, they want to get him the ball in space on drag routes just like this. They want him to get the ball and run after the catch. Good job there, though, holding him for a short game. The first carry for Leonard Fournette. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. They'll go for it. It's Brady. Throw left side, hauled in by Otten. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down by a good couple of yards as they get three there on fourth and inches. Now Brady. Finding Otten once more. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Fred Warner. And the 49ers are going to get the football here as they force the INT on the game's opening drive. Not something you see very often from a quarterback of his caliber, an opening drive interception. Oh, there's no doubt in my mind that even he's surprised at how that one played out. But we know this guy is not going to stop him from continuing to go, fire as this game goes along. Probably give a little nod of respect across the field for that one and let him know he'll be back the very next series. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he gets forward up the middle, but only for a couple. It'll be second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. The go. last run good for two. Here's second and eight. Throwing now is Garoppolo. He'll get this out right here to McCaffrey. And he'll be upended at the 33 following a gain of three. And guess what? It brings up third down. Feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense put pressure at that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. Throwing is Garoppolo on third down. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. On the move past the 40. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That one goes for 30 yards. A very early momentum changer there. Actually a dream killer for the defense because they forced a third down. Felt like they had a good chance to get off the field defensively. And then they got hit with that big play.
Here we go, so here how we go. about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Cut. Up the gut, McCaffrey. And some space here. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. No score after one on EA Sports. Here we go. First and goal, a chance to convert that early turnover into points. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage. Second and goal. Again, they run again. It's McCaffrey. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. And now third and goal coming up, the loss on second down. That just means this crowd's going to get even louder, and they'll get a little bit of extra help from the defenders as they exhort them to join them in the effort. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. Well, there certainly was a lot going on on that play. Every option in the end zone, cover. No place to go with the ball. Had to swing it out to the back. A good job running and getting him tackled in the open field. The kick by Gold is good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. Now it's Gold after splitting the uprights to kick this one away. From the end zone, here comes Jalen Darden. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. Their second drive here in the ballgame, Charles. Remember last time they threw the interception, but the defense held up. It bent a little, but didn't break, only giving up the three points. Yeah, obviously they left some points on the table there their last time out, but boy, they have to thank their defense for holding the opposition just three after they threw the pick. Their turn now. Back out on the field, put together a good drive, and get some points of their own. Four and a half, a first down carry. And he'll fight forward on the straight-ahead running for just a couple of yards, second down. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. Hey, second. Brady. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Well, nearly another interception there. That would have been two drives in a row with a pick. He's got to start taking care of the ball way better than what we're seeing. Interestingly, that throw was probably worse than the one he threw the interception on last drive, but fell incomplete. And he completes this to Russell Gage. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Fakes the give to Fournette. Now Brady. And he'll just get rid of it. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and they have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Rip. To throw on second and 10. Brady, and that's off the mark, incomplete. But there's an incompletion, partner, and the struggles through the air continue because so far their lack of passing production has led to a lack of points. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and 10. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Evans comes in motion right. Hey, 
Again, it's Brady. This is caught by Evans. And he'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. A big gain of 28 as the drive continues. Second quarter, two minutes remain. 3 0 our score. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Now Brady. And Brady, the tight end's got it. And he's going to be brought down at about the 16. I know sometimes we can get fooled when we watch him make catches as we just saw him do there because he really looks like a wide receiver the way he goes about his business. Yeah, 230, 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counted on to be that inline point of attack blocker that we used to have in the good old days, but you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target, and that's how he'll show the defense. The throw on second down by Brady is incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Now Brady again. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Picked off by Deshaun Gibson. And the Niners are going to have the football here at their own 18 yard team advances as far as they did, got over the 50-yard line. Don't you think that drive deserved a better ending? I think he needs to get with his coaches on the sidelines, make some immediate adjustments, and that's what you do. You don't wait. You do it from series to series because drives like that, the end with a turnover, that's multiple times they picked him up already in this opening half. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, San Francisco. Christian McCaffrey, 82 yards. And the Niners are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. Gold with the extra point, and the lead grows to 10 0. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. Darden now going to bring this one out of the end zone. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. It looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. Well, we talk a lot about referees trying to protect quarterbacks, and no question they're going to protect number 12. And really, truly, around the league, the intent is to protect all quarterbacks. It's just common sense. Those are the guys everyone comes to see play each and every week. And that call was pretty easy. To throw, it's Brady. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. This Fournette territory here, and he's alone in the backfield on second and goal. Throwing now is Brady. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the 49ers are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. And as we've seen, points have been precious so far. And they just threw some away on that snap. And look, let's face it, as we advance further into this game, that play will be on the minds of everyone who's watching it. They wonder if this is the turning point. Is this the spot where those points were given away? It could cost them a ball game. Levante David.